Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I want to show you how to install your memory card on your Samsung Galaxy A23 and I want to show you some important tweaks you'll want to make once you install that memory card to make sure that your files are being stored on the memory card now. So let's start with this. Find the box of your phone and you should have this little tool inside of it. It's called a SIM tool. Um, this will help you pop out the SIM card easy. If you threw the box away, shame on you, always take your SIM card tool out because you never know when you'll need this. If you don't have this, grab a paper clip, bend it back, and you can use that to insert into the memory card slot on the left side of the phone. We're just going to insert it and give it a strong push like this, and you'll see it pop out. One good push will pop out the tray. Now, the easiest way to install your memory card is if you notice, the memory card is basically uh, the Samsung is facing this way and the card is facing this way. So I'm just going to take it and just sit it right in the tray and it shouldn't take a lot for you to get it to fit in the slot. And let me take it a little closer so you can see it. So it just fits nice and even just like that. You'll notice I'm using a Samsung memory card. Um, make sure you're using a quality memory card for your phone because if you use cheap off-brand memory cards, you could mess up your phone or lose your data quickly. So I only trust Samsung um, SanDisk PNY memory cards. You'll find a link right here to a list of some great memory cards that are uh, good prices. So we're going to take this tray here and just insert it right back in and I'm just lightly pressing down on the edge of the memory card to make sure that it slides in okay and you shouldn't have to force it it should just go right in and if it doesn't then you might have the memory card facing the wrong way so memory card is in and you'll notice if we just zoom in on the top of the screen here, you'll have a little memory card icon at the top of the screen. And that's showing us that the memory card was inserted. As I swipe down, um, you're going to now see uh, a little pop-up that's going to say SD card inserted. And we can simply tap on that to quickly see... Uh, what's on the memory card now if you took it from an older phone you can actually go through and see hey what files did I have saved on this memory card and I have a couple of pictures here um, you can also um, swipe down from the top of the screen go to settings not the flashlight but settings and you'll want to go to the device care and battery section and then tap on storage and this will uh, take you to your internal storage and then once you swipe left it'll actually show you exactly how much space you have left on the memory card and how much is being taken up so as you can see uh, I still have 14.92 gigs left on this card so plenty of space so that's just how you check to see how much storage is there and how you can see all the categories what exactly is taking up my space you might need to go in and, and delete some older files if there's things on there you don't use anymore Okay, so the next thing, let's hit our home button. You'll want to go to the camera and understand that just because you put a memory card in doesn't mean it's going to automatically start saving your photos to the memory card. You still have to enable that in the settings of the camera. So we go to the camera, tap on the settings wheel in the upper left corner, and we're going to swipe all the way to the bottom of the camera settings and go to storage location, tap here, and make sure you switch from internal storage to SD. Now this is checked because I put the memory card in a few minutes ago and I already made this switch but on your phone it's not going to automatically switch. So make sure you tap on SD card to make sure pictures and videos are now going to save right to the SD card every time you take pictures. Now here's the next important tip I want to share with you. Your memory card can be used to back up all the data on your phone and uh, this is really easy to do on Samsung phones. You'll simply need to go to the settings. We're going to swipe down from the top back to the settings wheel and then from here we'll go to the accounts and backup section. Then you want to go to bring data from old device and this is just a shortcut to Samsung's transfer app which is called SmartSwitch 
and you'll want to go to the top of the this app here and there's a little memory card icon that you'll tap on and then you'll want to tap back up to SD card and by tapping on this you can actually back up all of your data pictures videos contacts messages everything you can back it up to your memory card you'll simply tap everything or you can hit just here or custom and then you can select specific uh, things you want to back up maybe you don't want to back up everything but maybe you want to back up specifically text messages you can go to custom hit next and then it will give you a list of all the categories that you can back up maybe you just want to back up your photos from a trip no problem you can just check the box there hit backup and now it'll back up all that data to your memory card this is also a really um, cool trick if you're getting a new phone or you're wanting to move some of this data from this phone to another Samsung phone you can simply back it up on the card first put the then put the card in the new phone and then open up the smart switch app and then you can basically transfer those files to your new phone so just as an FYI so um, this is how you back up your data to your memory card. This is not an automatic thing. Just understand that you'll have to manually go in and do this process. But I want to show you one more thing since we're on the topic of backups. If we go back to settings one more time and we go back to accounts and backup, you have another option, which is a backup data to Google Drive. And with this, you can back it up to your Google One um, service. And this is basically backing it up online. And so if you ever lose the phone, um, it's always good to have a backup of your phone in the cloud right here. And um, you can obviously select the categories you wanna back up. And you can come down here and you can say, hey, I want you to back up my data even if I'm on my mobile network. Maybe I'm not on Wi-Fi, but I wanna make sure all my information is being backed up frequently. You can enable this, and this will make sure that it's backing up your files even if you're not on Wi-Fi. So um, that's just sort of an aside, another good point. Um, but we're good to go. Our memory card is in, and now our pictures and videos are gonna be saved to the memory card. Um, one last thing I wanna to touch on. So um, Android has blocked the ability for you to um, transfer your apps to the memory card now. It's not a built-in feature of Android. The only way to do it is you'll have to go into the developer settings and you'll have to enable it there. And it, this is not recommended because it's something that can cause your apps to crash, especially if you don't have a fast or high quality memory card. So I would encourage you just to follow the steps we did in the video. This will allow you to get your pictures and videos being saved on that memory card and that'll definitely free up your internal space. Hope you guys found this helpful. Once again, I'll have that link up top. Um, once again, that link I mentioned earlier for quality memory cards, I'm gonna have that in the description of the video and in the comment section. So if you don't have memory card but you need one, um, check out that list. Get a quality memory card because it's so important um, a quality memory card is going to be nice and fast. It's going to have a lot of storage and it's going to be by a reputable brand that doesn't have a track record of the memory cards all of a sudden not working. So get one of those. And hey, if this video was helpful, if any part of this video was helpful, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. It really helps the video to reach more people and helps our channel. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.